is the end of the show. The starts to cry. The baby wants to know the reason why. Daddy's just like old train. Baby's just like mine. The lady's just like him. She smiles. The lady wants to know. She wants to know the reason. Got to know the reason why. Oh look, it's Jerry Salts checking out the scene. It's your half-assed reporter, James Calm, and uh, we're down here. At Canada, <laughs> and we're gonna go. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Hi, we're big fans. Thanks. We're gonna go in here and look at a show called "Making Painting Great Again" or something like that. Well, when I uh, heard the title of the show, "Making Painting Great Again," uh, I enjoyed or I appreciated the irony of that because uh, just last night in the Brooklyn Navy Yards not that far away from where I live Hillary Clinton made history by being nominated as her party's candidate for president and uh, well we all know who wants to make America great again This is by Michael Williams and it's titled Bet It All on Number 12 2016 Inkjet Colored Pencil Acrylic and Oil on Canvas. 101 by 75 inches. I wouldn't say a whole, but there's been several large group shows of paintings, uh, and they're kind of uh, still dealing with the aftermath of the Forever Now show at uh, the Modern. This is by Catherine Bernhardt, Two Simpsons, Plantains, Basketball, Cigarettes, 2016, and uh, this is a big painting. This is 96 by 120, so it's an 8 by 10 foot painting. is one of the hot, uh, popular artists these days, and, uh, well, she had some pieces in the, uh, the Canada booth at Freeze, this looks like spray paint. Acrylic on canvas. You know, uh, in certain ways, you know, Joyce Pensado has been working with these kind of cartoon characters forever. But I, uh, I like Catherine's you know, washy surface. In certain ways, this uh, recalls maybe Helen Frankenthaler or Morris Lewis in their stain paintings. Catherine Bradford, Large Ocean Painting 2016, acrylic and canvas with canvas collage. Well, we covered Kathy Bradford's show here a couple months ago. You can go back and look at it. Oh, now I get it. We got some uh, sea monsters and swimmers, it looks like. Maybe those are gators. surfaces on there. This is by 
Jason Fox. Leo, 2015 acrylic and pencil on canvas, 40 by 32 inches. Well, I was referring to some of the other shows. I think another one that this relates to is uh, Nice Weather, the David Solly curated show at uh, Skarstad. Nice big piece. This is by Daniel Hesitance, Untitled Summer Guns 2014. Oil on canvas 78 by 118 inches. Kind of looking at this and thinking of uh, Richard Pousset Dart. This is by Zaylor Jane, Z-Y-L-O-R Jane, untitled 2016, ink and oil on panel, 30 by 24 inches. Oh, these are, this is one of the uh, obsessive pattern painters, systematic painters. relates a lot to someone like Leslie Roberts, one of my favorite Brooklyn painters. These three pieces are by Elena Pankova. These are some nicely rendered, kind of oddly cropped figurative compositions. These are all water soluble oil on linen. It's a nice dandelion. Thank you. A couple of, uh, well, a diptych. Sarah Brahman, Seven Sons 2016 acrylic and spray paint on plywood. A lot of people are using spray paint these days. And, uh, well, the left hand panel on this looks like it was used at a construction site. Kind of like the, uh, the patina of use. This is by Dugan Nash. This is Untitled 2016 Acrylic on Bowling Ball. This is by Wallace Whitney. Untitled 2016 Oil on Canvas 75 by 68 inches. I was thinking Wallace is kind of a uh, 
classic abstract expressionist, but as I look at this, I'm kind of getting some uh, figurative references. Maybe it even makes me think a little bit of uh, David Park. There's uh, two shots of uh, Violet in there, nice. Canada recently expanded next door. And uh, this is a little more low-keyed part of the opening. You can actually see the paintings. show by Anka maybe a couple of years ago next door it's titled Gauche 2016 oil and acrylic on canvas and you can kind of read go looks like there's a little boot in there Gerald Ferguson, Rocks and Bushes, 2009, it's like enamel on raw canvas, Piece on raw canvas, Cotton Duck. This is Untitled 2016, acrylic on canvas. Sixty-two by fifty inches. Looks like he's got some magic marker or maybe charcoal drawing in there. This was a funny painting. I actually was uh, pedaling back from the Stuart Davis press preview at the Whitney, and it was raining like hell, but I uh, slid up and looked through the window, and uh, Philip, one of the proprietors here, was in talking to some clients, and I, I looked at this particular painting of the, uh, the bike rack with the locks on it, and uh, I pointed at it and laughed, and uh, Phil got my joke. I see a lot of these things. Actually, this made me think of a uh, great New York painter from the 50s and 60s, Lauren McIver, with its uh, kind of subtle grayed out tones and uh, it's kind of very common subject matter. Tyson Reader, Untitled, 2016, Oil and Graphite on Canvas. Sadie Laska, Tomorrow's Party. Acrylic and spray paint on PVA. Several pieces at the booth at Freeze. You can go back and check the Freeze report. Lily Ludlow. I remember seeing a show by her here a couple of years ago. It's acrylic chalk and graphite on panel. I 
enjoy the uh, kind of references to classic modernism, uh, hermetic cubism. It's kind of made me think of some of Gary Steffen's work from the late 80s, early 90s, maybe. This is Joe Bradley. More raw canvas. We got our sneaker prints in there. Oil on canvas. Well, if you've been watching the reports, you probably saw a visit to a Jean Michel Basquiat show uptown. And uh, in certain ways, I think Joe Bradley is kind of. Uh, himself use the kind of uh, rugged surfaces that Basquiat was using. I looked at this and I actually thought of Conrad Maccarelli for some reason. I like the, uh, the off-white of the canvas and uh, the yellow spongy and I think he might have uh, sort of folded over the canvas and smush the paint in a little bit. I think Joe is actually included in the uh, Forever Now show at the Modern. This is James Com making a very quick and cursory run through of Making painting great again. Here in Canada. And as always, 